I can't believe I get to say this so soon. Hi guys, welcome. This is my thank you video to you guys for a thousand subscribers. Uh, um, actually, actually, at, at the time of of this recording, mm, let me uh, let me double check. I think we're at a little 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 bit more than that now, guys. Um, let me take a pixie doodle. My dashboard, yeah. Uh, um, guys, we are literally just get this in in. I am ten away. I am ten away from fourteen hundred, fourteen hundred subscribers. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so so much. I did not start this out thinking I would even truly reach a lot of people, not for a long time. I, I was thinking I would get maybe 100, 200 views and the number just, just keeps climbing. And I guess the only thing I can say is, again, thank you. Thank you so much. Totally forgot to do this. Whoops. Um, Thank you so much. And I have great things planned. I have been uh, mulling over what my next series is going to be because I, I can't talk about fat bitches forever. <laughs> and in celebration, I asked all of you uh, questions. I said, what well, I will answer them on here. So I didn't get a super ton, but I did get a couple of really good ones. And um, let me get them up for us. So let's start off with one of the first people, LG. Uh, he is actually originally a friend of Gothic's, became a friend of mine, and has been an awesome supporter. And uh, he actually asked me a really tough one, frankly. If you could sit and talk with anyone from the past, who would it be? And, you know, that is honestly a hard question. Because I don't know. You know, I think about my own family. I think about uh, history. But to, to, to pinpoint who is the most important person in history to talk to? Ooh, that's just so difficult. I guess I might pick the typical uh, copy-paste art student answer and say possibly Da Vinci. Just because so much of what he did inspired the world. I'd love to know different things about that, like the, the big, long part of his life where he was gone, what truly inspired him, the things that he claimed he saw. I, I guess that's who I would pick if we're going for a historical feat, uh, uh, person. If we're going for someone that I know from my past, it, I have it narrowed down to four people. I would either want to talk to my grandpa I would want to talk to my friend Ashley um, or my mom or Brandon. Those would be if I could sit down. I, but again, I. so that's my answer to that one. Gosh, she had to start me off with the hard one, guys. Now, I have several thousand photos on my phone. So my phone gets a little, a little angry when I try to look at stuff. Oh, uh, so this is from one of my newest followers. She asked me this on Instagram, Velvet Love. And her question was, what is the inspiration behind my artwork? Which is a really great question. Um, <laughs> everything. So sometimes what's really infuriating about me being an artist is that I could be about to go sleep like right there and suddenly an image will come in my head and I really want to draw but I'm exhausted or I could see the shape of a cloud and it reminds me of a line I want to draw or maybe I'm watching dancing or I see a certain color so what inspires me is just I've got to get that spark of inspiration from something um, once in a while a dream inspires me but then what happens is I get like this kind of physical urge so kind of like this itch you can't quite scratch um I, I would say that that's how uh, it, it feels to me and, and, my, and my inspiration to have artwork. I personally have always had kind of a love-hate relationship with my art because 
I always felt either I wasn't quite getting out what I thought or I felt like it was soulless, like no matter how much I poured into it. But as time goes, has gone on, I have finally decided to just love it the way it is, the way I present it. And I apparently am getting better as a result of that. So no matter how crappy you think your stuff is, guys, keep it up. You'll find out it's, it's, it's better than you think. Um... Mopular, it wasn't a question, but she did make a statement. Uh, I feel like your colored lipstick is signature to you. Thank you. I actually intend to wear a rainbow shade of lipsticks. They're very hard to find, despite the fact that I don't like him. I gotta say, Jeffree Star makes fantastic rainbow lipsticks. I want them so bad. Because I just, I want to have the entire rainbow. And honestly, it's only pinks, purples, and, and uh, reds you can find very easy. Maybe some browns and beiges, but I'm not, I'm not exactly brown and beige. I'm too pale. That'll just, I, I, I won't look good with that. So, yeah. So, let's see. Um, this is from Little Moons 28 uh, Go follow her on Instagram. I... Uh, uh, there's her icon right there. Look her up. She is just so talented. I love her stuff. Very cute. Kind of retro in a way. Um, but anyways, she asked, what is my favorite dish to cook? You know, I'm going to sound like just so wishy-washy on all these answers. I don't have one. Um, my signature dish, dish tends to be my chicken cutlets. I'm very good at making them. Um... I have my own little way of setting up and it's kind of evolved over the years. Uh, but frankly, I have a set of dishes that I enjoy cooking just because I'm really good at them and they always uh, are very good for the tummy. So I have uh, one dish I call kielbasa and egg noodles and it's it's literally exactly how it sounds. You get a kielbasa, um, you roast it in the oven, you make the egg noodles, the wide and Try to get as good egg noodles as you can. And then you just literally put it in the, the pan with sliced up kielbasa, a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper, and it is absolutely delicious on its own. Um, then there's tortellini soup. I love making tortellini soup because it's as, it's as basic as it gets. You put the stock in, you put the frozen tortellini, you put in some frozen vegetables, and boom, you've got a delicious meal. Um, I make fajitas and the fajitas that I make they're not exactly traditional but I make them so I actually use Japanese rice to make them I make the the white sticky rice on the side and then I make a uh, triple pepper mix along with a triple mushroom mix and onions and garlic and usually it is chicken that I make with it my own little seasoning uh, recipe and I actually use a lot of Japanese seasoning for it I guess you could say it's fusion, sort of. And then the toppings I usually just use are avocado and uh, cheese. And sometimes I use the fried onions just because they're... And yes, I guess those are my favorite dishes. Um, I need to expand. Those are all my go-tos when I want to cook something homemade. But I, you know, those are what I know to do. I don't want to do something boxed or anything. So that's my answer to those. And let's see, I know I had, I had another one. Where are you? Question. Where are you? Question. Ah, um, from Ayla's Dope on Instagram. What inspired you to start your YouTube channel? P.S. I love your opinions and videos. Thank you. Well, Ayla, um... I've actually had my YouTube channel since like a month after YouTube started. I've been a YouTube member since May 26th of 2006. And I just, I heard about it when it first came out and I was like, oh, I've got to get on that social media. Uh, I, I was around when you could send private messages to people on YouTube and you could actually make friends on YouTube. That's, I've been around I'm essentially an OG. I just didn't do anything with it. Well, there's actually like dozens of videos on my YouTube, but all of them are locked, honey, because some of them are just cringe and some of them are just private. But a couple of the videos you'll see on there are of people that have passed away, like Brandon and my mom. Um, and uh, but what inspired me to do these videos was I've 
I've danced around the idea of content creation for quite some time. And there's some videos that are locked on my YouTube where I was just like, because I'll get these urges. I'm like, someone's got to say something. Someone's got to knock some sense into people. And I was noticing people were afraid to talk. And even I'm guilty of that sometimes. But I always danced around it because my skills lied in retail and working with the public. I've There's some of my customers saw me when I was working with gothics. They saw me on the live streams. They commented on it. So it's like I, I worked with a lot of people in the public in my town and I don't live in a small town. So I thought to myself over the last decade, especially, I was like, I, I don't know if I want to do that because I was one, I was terrified of people um, hurting my loved ones because I saw it happen so many times. I was afraid of stalkers because I saw it happen so many times. Um, and I was just afraid of, frankly, what every other person in my situation, I was afraid of being called something I wasn't and possibly damaging something, whether it be potential employers in the future or whatever. And honestly, yet cancel culture, I was terrified of it. Best way to phrase it. And I was just like, I know I could make statements, but I did not want to risk certain things. And working with gothics, I was like, there were people who were asking me fairly often, why aren't you doing your own content? Where's her channel? I want to see what she has to say. Because part of it was, and I'm not trying to, you know, guilt anyone, but I thought, who wants to see the fat white bitch talk about the, the five billion other fat white bitches out there talking? What What is my opinion going to matter? Um, I'm not unique enough. I'm not spark enough, whatever it is. So I just didn't want to. But um, what truly inspired me to start doing it was one, Gothics kept pushing me. She kept asking why I wasn't doing it. Uh, several other friends, um, Jess, Janice, my in-laws, bunch of people kept asking me, why aren't you doing it? Um, and I just, I just didn't think no one, anyone would want to hear me. And a series of events took place in November and I got this little voice in the back of my head said, you got to do it. So something said I had to do it now. And I would say it was almost like a sense of self-preservation, like a sense of if I didn't do it, something bad would happen. I, I don't know how to describe it, guys. I don't want to sound crazy, but that's the truth of it. If you hear that cat, it's my my cat Penny at the bottom. Um, <laughs> she uh, is obsessed with me. Only me. Yes, I know. Um, and so I was watching Michelle McDaniel, who really put the the fat positivity, body positivity, insanity in my eyes. And I kept hearing gothics in my head saying, you should talk about that shit. And I just said, you know what? I've heard people ask. I'm going to listen to my little voice. And so that's, that's what I did. So here I am. <laughs> and, and I, I just got to say, I thank all of you, all of you for really, for really supporting me so far. And you definitely, you made this experience already really awesome. Of course, I have that anxiety of shit. What about when they don't like me? But you know what? I'm going to pretend that's not going to happen for a long time to come because you don't know. Um, oh, here's another one. This is from uh, Anime Chan. Um, have you ever traveled abroad? Honey, I haven't even traveled outside of the U.S. I haven't gone to the Canadian border and I haven't gone to the Mexican border. And I only went to the West Coast once. That was to go to Vegas in 2018. Um, I've never left the United States. I would like to. I actually had a chance to back in 2011. I was supposed to go to Africa with um, a then friend who... That's a whole story for another day. But let's just say she stabbed me in the back. And because she told me I was too embarrassing to go on public TV with. Um, so, yeah, that's a story that I'm going to animate. So stay tuned for that one. That's going to be on. I'm going to try to stick to my non uh, opinion pieces to my animated videos. So just letting you guys know that. Uh, let's see. 
I, I didn't copy the full name, but Jasmine Spirit Wall asked, how many pets do you own? Hold on. So I have, let's see, we've got my dogs. We have Orion. We have Greta. Then we have my cats. We have Zorro. We have Daisy. We have Axel. We have Hendrix, Aria, Nova, Penny. Well, you guys just heard meowing earlier. Then we have my little FIV positive, uh, Calliope, and I am also fostering Luna and Sunny for my husband's best friend. They are going to get fixed, and then they're going to get shipped off to their new home. And uh, I, my, have, I have pets in this house ranging from three months to thirteen years old. So yeah, I got all the animals, just so many. Um, let's see. I think there was one more, one more question. I just can't find it. Where is it? Oh, here it is. And this is from Mika Awesome Forces uh, at Fractal Rabbit on uh, uh, Twitter. And this is actually a really good question. I'm surprised hasn't happened yet because I've been going on mm, five weeks now of content creation. And I have not gotten this yet. Have any of the content creators you've called out come after you at all? Considering the nature of some of these people, I wouldn't be surprised. Girl, you're right. And girl, I'm surprised. Because I released two um, TikToks, and I'm going to make a couple of more um, tonight because I, I look good, so I'm going to do it. Uh, I released some TikToks speaking out about it, and some people actually duetted me. Uh, some larger TikTokers with like 30,000 followers. And I still haven't gotten any hater aid. Like, when I tell you guys I know we're all in the honeymoon phase right now, I know we're all in the honeymoon phase right now because I go through my comments. I haven't gotten any negative comments. I have not so far seen any negative uh, feedback or videos. I I don't know. I know that right now I'm in a very special place and it's, it's, it's I know very well this is not going to stay this way. So I thank you all for what the current situation is. Um, but yeah, no. No, I, ha I haven't gotten any at all. Um, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, so that's... No, I don't know why. But no. Uh, but that's that's all the questions, guys. Uh, uh, they were really good questions. Uh, I thank you guys for participating. Um, I just want to say the achievements I've gotten already. I've already got my community tab. That was really cool to get. I've got literally almost 1,400 uh, subscribers and I am, give or take, 900 watch hours away from being monetized. I hope I can live up to it, guys. I really, really do because it's, I'm trying, I'm trying really hard. This is all very new to me and maybe this is what imposter syndrome feels like. I just, I'm really happy and I'm really happy that we're all doing this together. And I, I want to say this now as a, as a celebration um, I want to make sure everyone knows that I don't come from necessarily a negative place when I make these videos. I'm not trying to rag on people in the way that, you know, oh, I want to feel like shit and things like that. No, I, every time I make a video, I want it to be understood that I'm making it. So I'm putting it in perspective for you. So I'm making you see the tomfoolery and, and the absolute fuckery you're doing. Not you, my fans, but the people that I put in the videos. Um, so yeah, I just, I just want to point that part out, but as you can see, I'm, I'm decorating for Christmas, <laughs> um, segueing away, but I just want to say guys, uh, I, next week is 2022. So let's get into this with high hopes. Let's get into this as a community. Um, I just want to let you all know that, uh, with 
the community tab opening. And with all of you here, I have been updating a lot of things. And next is going to be my Patreon. I've got to get a couple of more perks and features put into there. But currently, my uh, Discord is open. There's going to be the permanent invite link down below. There's my link tree down below to follow me on all of my socials. And guys, I have got this question. This is one question I've been asked on my live stream. I've been asked by a couple of people in comments uh, that have asked me how to support me. The Patreon is the best way to support me. I do have a overarching goal. I don't want to put that out there yet. Um, just because I don't want to make anybody feel that pressure just in case. I also have an Amazon wish list. Someone asked me about that. So I have that as well. Um, but overall support, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and just keep being amazing, guys. Seriously, at the end of the day, like, comment, subscribe, uh, if you haven't already subscribed. <laughs> and just keep being awesome. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. I hope you have a safe and happy new year. And I hope that this coming year brings everything you want. And I hope that we're all going into it together. So here's what I will tell you. Thank you for everything so far. And to whatever the future brings. I am so grateful for all of you. I'm going to keep up my momentum. Uh, the first episode of Rescue Me Monday should be in the second week of January. I will be traveling to Texas in January as well. So there is going to be a, possibly a week you're not going to see a video. I'm going to try my best to get everything filmed, edited, and scheduled ahead of time. And I should be back in time for my live stream as well. So yeah, that's all of that, guys. So Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Stay safe. And I love you guys so much. Remember, tell the people you love and the people that are important in your life. Every time you say goodbye, tell them you love them and to be safe. So guys, I love you. Be safe.